Hey guys, how's it going? It's Tam here, and we are starting our playthrough of Stardew Valley. It's been a couple of years since I've actually played this game. I think the last time I played it was roughly two years ago, and as of recently, they've updated it to 1.5. I believe on the Nintendo Switch it's going to be a little bit while longer, but doesn't mean we can't restart pick up where we left off, and relearn the whole game. I think what I'm going to start doing first, though, is clean this bit up and plant those parsnip seeds that I collected not too long ago. That's the nice thing about this game, is at the very beginning it's a little bit more generous. It makes starting it a little bit easier, make just a tiny bit of money with the parsnip seeds. Not the best crop, but at the same time, it is what it is when you're just starting. And I decided to actually play on the forest map. It's a map that I haven't played before, but I think it's going to give me a little bit of an easier time. I'm not going to have as much land to work with, but I do get forageables. And later on, that is going to help out immensely. And we'll get into that once I actually get far enough. There's a bit in the community center where you would go and donate, and through donating, I believe you learn how to make seeds from the supplies that you forge. But I think for now, I am just going to cut down some trees, make a chest, get me a little bit more space just because I'm not going to have that room right now. It's just going to make my life that much easier, assuming I have enough energy. That's another thing that's going to uh, make things a little bit difficult. We're not going to have a lot of energy throughout most of the early game. But with a little bit of hard work and hopefully some luck during the festivals, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. And just like that we have our first set of storage. I think I am going to make this green for spring. In the meantime, while I do still have some energy, it's still fairly early in the day. I think what I'm going to do is see if I could walk around the village and grab some supplies or some forgeables. Maybe if the store's open today, I might buy some more seeds and quickly work on that. But yeah, um, I'm not sure where I'm going to actually find any of this stuff. Fortunately, <clears throat> fortunately, there's a little bit more that I can track down if I were to go towards the far north of the village or just south of my farm. Potentially, there could be some stuff to the far left side of my farm, if I remember correctly, on a forest map. But, we will check that out in just a bit. In the meantime, I am going to go meet a couple new faces. Oop. No, Robin, we haven't met. I totally didn't skip that cutscene at the beginning. I totally did meet you at the very beginning. <laughs> yeah, I am the one who just moved in. Hey, Maru. The bachelors and bachelorettes in this game I haven't really been too fond of. I think I've really only pursued Haley and Leah. So now it's a debate on if I want to go for one of the male bachelors or if I just want to switch it up and go with the new one. So we, we'll figure that out. I guess it just depends on who I can find during my path and whether or not I want to take the time and pursue them. But let's see if our town hobbit is sitting in his tent. Oh. Now he is actually really interesting. If you could befriend him enough, the nice thing with him is he gives you a pretty decent cooking recipe, and I believe with that recipe it ties together a little bit more with the dungeons that are here in Stardew Valley. But we'll get there as I start befriending him. That's another nice thing with all of the villagers. Eventually, over time, after I start pursuing them, 
making more connections, making more friends. They give me more cooking recipes, they'll give me a couple gifts here and there, which all together is going to help out a ton, especially with this new content that might be coming out for the Nintendo Switch here fairly soon, so I'm looking forward to seeing what that will bring. But in the meantime, let's check out the South. I'm actually really surprised that I haven't found anything yet. Usually to the north, it's pretty good with some forageables. Oh, hello. Oh. oh. Okay, okay, she does like me. She's more focused on her jump roping now. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I'm finding just some materials that I can use, but I don't want to use up all of my energy just yet, and that's the biggest issue. But if I'm lucky, I might be able to find something further down here. I don't, I don't really know what this leads to, to be honest. I've rarely ever come down this way. But what I do believe is that might actually be for one of the festivals. And this will eventually become a little shop where you can buy some accessories, and I believe they're just hats and potentially boots, but... Oh! There we go. There is our first forgeable. The nice thing about these forgeables is later on, as you start grabbing more and more, you do start leveling up in that skill, and you can actually make them higher grades, or you can make it so that you can harvest more of them, I believe. There we go. Not what we're looking for, but a spring onion will come in handy here in just a bit. If I wanted to do a little bit more cleanup, that spring onion is going to give me a little bit more energy. I'm not sure how much it gets me, though. Let's check it out. 13 energy, 5 health. Not a ton, but could be just enough if I were cutting down another tree. So that's that's not too bad. Actually. Oh. Hi, Penny. I totally forgot that her name was Holly. All right. Here's the second forageable, and I don't think I'm going to be able to find the other two today. So that's a bit of a shame. That that kind of gives me a little bit of a slow start, but that's okay. Let's just walk around town a little bit more, see if I can find a couple more faces that I can meet during the beginning. And that will make my life just that much easier. I don't have to worry about worrying about who I haven't met and who I have. Oh, you know what? I don't remember if Emily is a potential candidate, so I might pursue Emily. If I remember, she prefers more natural gifts. So with that one, any of the forgeables that I can find, it might be a good idea to give her some every now and again. And then Elliot, if I remember correctly, he's also the, uh, the town writer. Out of all the males, I believe his story is probably the best. But before we run out of time, let's hurry and rush over to the general store and see if I can buy any more seeds. There we go, there's Leia. Alright, let's check out... Not too much that I can start with, however, I think what I'm going to do, 500, I'm going to buy, you know, let's just buy all the potato seeds. Potatoes grow fairly quickly, they sell for a decent amount of money. On top of that, they're a little bit cheaper, I don't have to worry too much about keeping up with them. Now let's rush back really quick and start planting those, and then I think that'll call it a day on day one. Unfortunately, there really isn't that much that you're able to do on day one. You can run around, meet people, you don't really have access to the community center, you don't have access to the first dungeon that you can go to, which is actually the mines. But... That's okay. At one point, I think I should probably be able to play this on the computer again. The nice thing about that one is with the mouse, I'm able to select every bit around me and not have to worry about walking up once, clicking, and walking up again, and clicking once again. There we go. I 
think I'm going to hold on to those for now. And then probably plant these seeds as well, because you never know. It might even turn into a potato. <laughs> Let's see, I'm going to spend the rest of my first day just cleaning up this little bit right here. And that... Oh, heck yeah. Oh, hey, I picked up a second one. I didn't even notice that. There we go. I'd say that's pretty good to start with. Got a decent chunk of seeds. A little bit of forageables here and there. Maybe I can get a couple more if I'm lucky. I think I might actually eat that onion. There we go. Not a ton, but hopefully just enough to cut down this tree. And that branch, just because I don't want that branch there. Awesome. All right. I'm just going to store all this stuff really quick, go to sleep, and then rinse and repeat. Start the next day and see what else we can find. Now, another good thing that you need to check while you're at home is check the TV for the weather for the next day. In this case, tomorrow is going to be a sunny day. Now, what I prefer is if it's a rainy day, because that'll save me so much time on taking care of the crops. I can run around and do a little bit more. I can do some fishing if I wanted to. I can run up to the mines. I could search for materials, potentially find some ores so that I could eventually upgrade my gear, and that'll just make things a little bit easier. Um, but in doing so, I just have to be a little bit lucky. All right, and with that being said, I think we'll call this an episode. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.